everyone else will be tonight. For those of you who are new, I have five minutes and 20 slides that I do not control. They are controlled by a higher force, the clock. And 18 presenters are going to follow me to tell me to tell you all kinds of interesting and exciting things. And we've come a long way in two years in Six Ignite. We have our own iPhone app, which is bizarre to say. Uh, Developer Ignite coming up, the third with the great people at Gangplank, and at Ignite Phoenix uh, at ASU for the first time. But as great as things have gone, I still get one question. And that's a question that I want to try to address tonight. And that's, why don't you do more with Ignite? Why don't you cash in on Ignite? Why don't you bring businesses in, or publishers in, or people who can take the ideas on the stage and make some kind of big connection with them? And I think that, in, that Ignite Phoenix makes a big connection, but in a different way. And it's not solving world peace, and it's not solving the healthcare debate, as much fun as that is. It's something more personal. It's something that I call, this is my own little thing here, personal innovation. And what Ignite Phoenix to me provides is an opportunity for individuals to find new ideas to make a change within themselves. And I think that's as important, if not more important, than the big things. So what is, what is personal innovation? I think there's three traits. The first one is it's free. Okay? It costs money to come here, it takes money to put this on, but the ideas here are free. You are free to take them and do whatever with them uh, that you please. It has to have a component of growth. An idea that you hear here changes you in some way. Maybe you look at the world a little bit differently, or it changes your core perception of things. It somehow fundamentally changes you. And the third component is participation. This isn't passive. You need to get out and, and connect with something to drive a change in your own life. And, those three, and it can be small and it can be big. Scope really isn't, isn't necessarily a part of it. But So an example of small. If you come here and you hear something, uh, a fact that you didn't know, perhaps about ladybugs and how they fly around, and it just causes you to look at something in a little bit different way, that's a small kind of personal innovation. Your view of the world has somehow changed. But better still, it actually gets you out to experiment. You hear something and you take it back and you play around with it. You try something new and you tinker and you, you discover. And on the big end, really taking it to its extreme, you go out exploring. It takes you in a completely new direction, something completely different in your life, a new hobby, a new groups, a new job. There's all the ideas coming here um, offer that realm of possibility. But the one thing that they all have in common is they're dependent on you. You have to make a decision to engage in something. You have to make a decision to follow up with these presenters. You have to make a decision to take these ideas and go somewhere beyond with them. And those changes that you drive in yourself are absolutely huge. The quote on the screen here is from Gandhi. And if you don't believe that somebody changing themselves can drive huge change in the world, then go read up on what he accomplished. Those little changes, those personal direct changes that we make are what flesh us out, what, make, what keep us growing, what really adds color to our lives. And when you grow and you make those changes in yourself, then you can reach out and impact other people. The 18 people coming out on this stage, each person is now going to reach hundreds of people. And all of you can go out and reach hundreds more. And that water falls out and impacts the world in huge, huge ways. Because what's small to one person is huge to somebody else. And that's, to me, what Ignite Phoenix is about. Offering up those opportunities to connect and make changes and discover things that are new to you and take them off in however you decide to do it. That's what this crew, this group of people who work their butts off, and I assure you we are all buttless at this point, to put this event on, believe and share. And whether you take something off, uh, off the stage uh, and go home or not, you have three jobs right now. And the first is to cheer the people that are coming out here after me, because this is hard, and support them. Let them know that you appreciate what they're doing and you respect the fact that these ideas are important to them. Okay? So. I'm about done, and if all of you can give a huge, huge round of applause, we'll get Ignite 6 started. <laughs>